Where have you been hiding? Look at this, Livy's. This hen hatched out three chicks. Good morning, modern steaders. Guys, we got about half an inch of rain last night, and we weren't supposed to get any. And besides that, we got it in like a half an hour. Oh, I hope all that raking we did yesterday didn't get washed out. We were supposed to get a sprinkle of rain yesterday, not a half an inch, never mind in about, I think it was like 10 or 15 minutes, it wasn't even a half an hour. Good morning girls. You're missing your dish again. Found it. Now the older the pigs get, the pushier they get about food. As you saw in I think it was two days or three days ago in the video of the Olivia in here with the apples. Yeah, that starts to happen the older they get, so you just start being really careful with the pigs. I can't get over how big you guys are getting. It hasn't stacked itself yet. Oh, I thought it would put away itself by now, but it hasn't. I crashed the drone the other day and I broke it good. Broke the arm, there, all the propellers. The worst part is I broke the stabilizer. That means we gotta send it back to GoPro and get a new one. Long story short, don't put your drone on follow me mode. It don't work. You getting ready for school? Yeah. You still excited about school? Yes. Okay. Got our chaff hay for the goats, and then we got our herbal dewormer that we just use as a maintenance. And I call this their breakfast smorgasbord. I get some alfalfa pellets and a handful of sunflower seeds. You think you're a goat? <sighs> yep, it's raining out again. Oh, I'm telling you, they don't want us to rake the pasture this year. Oh, they're all against us. Just want to get that raked out and seeded. Man. Now goats can't stand the rain, so I don't think they'll come out this morning. Nope. Did your goat te tape stay on? Awesome. Looks like it did there, Willow. Kind of like you girls were just chillaxing this morning with the rain. 
so I ended up putting Tabasco sauce on the goatee tape after we get done milking her, and it stayed on, guys. No, I feel bad. It's like taking a band-aid off. Yikes! All right, so hopefully we only have to do this for a few days, and then the kids will stop nursing. I mean, they're more than old enough now. They're eating plenty of hay and apples and chaff hay and everything, so. I gotta go buy some Tabasco sauce special for this. Not a sponsored video. But I'll tell you what, it works. Don't smell good to me though. I don't know why people like to eat this stuff. All right, Willow, you're good to go for the day. What do you think you're doing, Figaro? Yeah, it's raining out. Why are you on the truck? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? Look at me. Look at me. Are oh, you chasing the raindrops? Come on. Let's go in. I borrowed a seed spreader last night, not knowing if I should wait till I rake out the whole pasture and then seed or seed as we go, but I think with the weather we've been having here lately, after I get done raking an area, I'm gonna seed it. Otherwise, it could get all washed out before we're even finished. So we might as well maybe get one area done. Yeah, it's raining out. So we got four bags of conservation of conservation mix with clover seeds in there. And then I got one bag of winter rye to start with. Hopefully that'll be enough for what we already have raked. Got a bag of our conservation mix. Every time I think I got it figured out how to work one of these, it always gets bound up. I hope we don't make a mess. Now I know this land's not perfect. It's still kind of rocky and sticky, but every time it rains out, more and more is just coming. So I want to get the grass seed down and we can pick some more rocks later after we get more 
seeded and raked. Now I really feel like I'm up against the clock with trying to get the grass seeds out, get it seeded, it all raked, and getting it the seeds to start before winter hits. So I'm not going to be super fussy on getting all the sticks and the rocks up right this year. Because I want to get the grass growing and we can always clean it up more next year. It always feels like you're up against something, especially when you're homesteading. You're always against the time whether you have enough time or you don't, enough money, the time that Mother Nature puts on everything. But one of the quotes I really love is, nature doesn't hurry, but everything gets done. I mean, how true is that? So we just gotta know that everything will get done when it needs to. Maybe not on our time frame, but It'll get there. We put down two bags of conservation seed so far. And now on top of that, I want to put down some winter rye. Oh, the chickens are gonna have to get locked up. I'm not putting seeds down for my chickens to eat. I don't think the free-ranged barred rocks are gonna like this, but I don't like them eating all that grass seed we just put down. I need to get rid of this flock of chickens. The reason why the barred rocks are up here by themselves is they're our older flock. This will be the third season laying eggs. I think there's 11 hens or 10. We get about six eggs a day, so they're still laying good, but the chickens in New York City are our up and comers and they started laying. So now we need to give these chickens away. So Libby's just pointed out the goat gate is open and that fence is open. I don't know what happened. I know I left the poultry gate open this morning because I had that gate closed. Did they get out? All They're all in there. You crazy girls. They know not to. They didn't even come over by the gate. You could have been out here and you didn't come out. I got some grip tape to put on top of the spools for the goats for traction and to help wear out their hoofs. You gotta jump, not on me. There you go. I think the pigs are enjoying the nice cool weather. I sure am. You like it yeah. that it's 30 degrees cooler today than it was yesterday? Yeah. Ah, uh, Lynx, you got something on your nose. Is that pooper dirt? It's dirt. Where have you been hiding? Look at this, Livy's. This hen hatched out three chicks. What? They're so cute and tiny. Where'd this, how'd this happen? <laughs> oh, this chicken just hatched out. Blow it out. 
This chicken just hatched out three baby chicks. Oh, they're so cute and tiny. You gonna try to pick up one? Don't get electrocuted. Oh, I need to get them all three. Why? Well, put her in close. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. That's neat or what? I know, right? Okay, I catch. What? Okay, so it's that one right there. She's a lighter brown than the other one. I feel like she's looking for her babies. Good thing you didn't run into the electric fence. All right, so we got Mama and three chicks in there. Let's get her some feed and some water. Yeah. Did you know we had a broody hen sitting on no. eggs somewhere? Is that where all is that what all those eggs over there were? I have no idea where where she was even sitting on them, but they got to be. It takes 21 days. Yeah. That's so weird. Moose, what are you up to? Look at all the eggs. They poop on one. Yeah, they always poop in this one certain thing, or like a lot in this one certain thing. This is my favorite part of my day, collecting eggs with you. It's one of my favorite parts. Oh, it's just one of your favorite parts? Yeah, well I like school. Oh. Are you gonna fly to the other one? Well, I'm glad you like school. Yeah. <laughs> this kind of looks like a double yoker. What, we took all your eggs so you don't want to stay in there? Did you get locked? Were you one of the ladies that, that got locked in there last time? you know gonna get locked in there? We got a surprise for you after dinner. Yeah, after dinner. Did you get it? Yeah. She helped. Yeah, we helped. After dinner. Okay. Not funny. Gina hates surprises and Olivia's having fun <laughs> keeping no, her from her. Fun. I do hate surprises. We're gonna take the longest trip to go find it. You know. Look at your boat baby. <laughs> Where is it? You gotta pee your pants. <laughs> Stop. Yes. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> baby. Oh, little baby chip. You found him? Well, she was sitting right out by the pig pen with three baby chicks under Aww. her. Wait, where's the other one? The other one's three. under her. It's the white one. one. Yeah, it is. Aww, how sweet. Is that a good surprise? Yeah. We were surprised when we saw it. Oh, we also might have gotten a force goat. I had to catch him and then try to catch her. She was a pain. Yeah, she was. Oh, how sweet. Did you check out her hair thingamajiggies? Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna jump. Oh my god, I want to comb it. Wait, I want to jump. I want to move. I want to comb one at a time. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, you better watch out, Livies. I try to. Uh, oh, well, who's going to hang you? Uh, this is where we're going to end today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Love the Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, such frequency and freedom. Bye. 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 Bye.